Hi guys and what's up? Today we're looking at the Vertex Gamut Backpack. This is not the Plus, this is just the Vertex Gamut uh, Backpack. The Plus just adds a little bit of additional height and width, if you ask me. So this is just the normal one. Um, so let's dive into this backpack and uh, see what it's all about. And again, make sure you like and subscribe below as well. So again, this is the Vertex Gamut Bag. Um, it looks very similar to a lot of their other bags, like the Messenger one, um, and it's got a lot of similar features. So let's just dive into it and get through them all. Um, first feature on the front, of course, you have this plain front here, um, which this here can be unzippered, just like on the other pack, and you can take this out, which reveals the Molly and some more uh, loop material here, so you can put all your fun patches, but you also have all your Molly. Now, some people call this a hidden pocket at the bottom here, um, which, yes, it can be a hidden pocket, which you can put all your stuff in, but it's really meant so you could shove this thing up into here and use it with this Molly facing outwards. Like so, of course, you can do a better job than that, but in a quick job, that's what I got. So you can leave it like this, or again, as most people will probably use it, most people have been using this as a hidden pocket and then leaving this like this. This also comes with these loops here, as you can see here and here. Um, and these can attach to another two attachment points on the bag, right up here and up here. Now you might notice I have these other uh, buckles on here right now that look like this, but these are not not normally there. These pop right off. And then this hook would go onto there, like so. And on the other side here, same deal. I'm gonna take my optional hook this, these do not come on the bag. I have these from a 511 thing I was messing around with. And uh, they come on there and hook to there. So this way you can put a backpack, or whatever else you want in this storage space right here. So not too bad. All right. So looking at the other sides of the bag here, you have two kind of elastic or more like neoprene feeling pockets that expand. The biggest water bottle I, I have on hand that I was able to fit on there it was this Rambler here. I was not able to fit the 32 ounce Hydro Flask and I wasn't about to try the 40 ounce as the 32 ounce did not fit. So they don't really expand too far, but you can fit this Rambler Yeti in there just fine. Slips in there like that. Now, it's good to mention that these are also pockets. So the bigger the water bottle you put on there, the harder you will be to put things into these pockets here. Um, this pocket on this side here opens up kind of hard with the water bottle there but it has kind of this mesh here, which is more of a harder plastic mesh, and one pocket right here. Closing that guy up and looking at the other part of the bag, you'll notice the exact same thing here. I put a little handkerchief in there for now, um, but if you open up that one, you have a little bit more organization in there. It kind of varies. So if you look, I did put some stuff in here for you guys. I have a, a pack, a, sorry, some uh, Ray-Bans, Wayfarers in there. I have a Benchmade 490 Amicus in there. Um, which is a really nice assisted opening knife. I have a Sharpie, um, a Retro Lincoln, a 4.7s flashlight, of course, the Apple Pen, and I have one little pocket to spare here, as you guys can see. And then in this mesh pocket here, I have some business cards, as well as some gum and stickers. All right, oops, just kind of crushed a business card doing that. There we go, let's put it back in. So you got a nice little mesh area right there as well. It's also worth noting that the pull strings in those pockets are red. So you can kind of find them easy. All right, so let's dive into the other section of the bag. I'm gonna do a quick camera adjustment real quick and I'll be right back. All right, so zippering up this front panel, you'll realize just like on the messenger bag here, the zippers also have these buttons on them. So that's so that they can, can secure themselves inside the bag up here. So if you kind of undo that, You'll see the button right there. So this can zipper up to here. And you can kind of see it's kind of a pain, not easy to do all the time. And uh, you can button that to here, like so. Close it up. Do the same thing on the other side, kind of tuck everything back in. Take that button, there it is, right there. And button it back up as well, right there. And then tuck this back in. And now when people try to pull on this, it doesn't really open very well. Um, but you do want to kind of make sure that it's at least velcroed in there. Um, now, if you also notice here, this has a really nice thick strap piece right here. So you can pick it up by this if you want to and be fine. On the top here, there is a zipper. 
which reveals this little itty bitty pocket right here, which you can hold things like sticky notes and more business cards. Um, it is pretty wide, if you notice. It kind of goes to the very edges of the pack here and all the way down to just that grab handle right here. Opening up the next section of the pack, initially it'll just look like it opens like this, which is sort of fine for most things. Um, you have this organization you see on most Vertex things. Um, I don't like using it as uh, things like to fall out of it really, so I don't tend to use this area a lot, but again, it's more places for pens, pencils, whatever else you want in here. Um, so this pocket here is kind of like two fingers, three fingers big, um, two pen pencil pockets right here, and another small little pocket on the edge right there. Now, you can kind of see this red pull tab here, which goes to a mesh pocket on that same panel. But as you notice, it's really hard to get past that point in the bag, and you have a lot of stuff that you can put in here. Um, but to get to it all, sometimes you're gonna to have to undo these buttons right here. So you see it right there. You just give that guy an undo. Same thing on the other side, give that guy an undo. Now these zippers will go more than kind of one quarter open. They'll go all the way to the bottom. You can kind of see, again, not easy. And it opens up this whole area here in which has all of your goodies. So, again, I have my usual Bose headphones in there. Um, quick thing with uh, tools in there. Um, all sorts of cool packets with different tools in them again. Um, this one here has the laser tester on right now. So let's turn that off. We don't want to keep wasting batteries. Who knows how long it's been on for. But, uh, again, all sorts of fun stuff in there. Um, I just kind of keep these little quick tool bags in there so I can move between packs pretty easily. Medical kit with the little fabric tape falling off. Um, to reveal this area here, so this area here has a mesh pocket right on there. And in there, as you can see, I have a slew of different cords and easy to get access items. On the back here, you have a laptop pocket. Um, so from right here to here, I'll show you guys me putting my Alienware laptop in there and seeing if it fits later. I haven't tried it yet, so it'll be a first for the video. Um, and again, this is all Velcro, as you, as you can see. I have patches on here, um, so you can kind of stick your patches on there or whatnot. All on here if you like. I have 511 patches on a Vertex bag, go figure. Um, looking at the panel that opens, right here, again, there's that one pocket. It reveals this little mesh area here, so again, there's that one pocket again. Easier to see this time. And then we have another pocket at the bottom where I keep things like uh, battery charger, uh, wireless headset, portable hard drive with the dangerous edges, this lacy Porsche hard drive. Oof, you could hurt somebody with that thing. And that's it. That's really all that's inside the bag. Um, it's also worth noting, this is also where your bladder hook exists if you were going to put a hydration bladder in here there is your hook to do it right there. And then that would come out in one of these sections right there, or of course, probably on the other side as well, right there. So not too bad. Um, let's go, uh, I'll come back to this and I'll drop a laptop in here in uh, the next section. So let's close this up real quick. As you can see, it's a little bit easier to close than the, uh, than the other one was. All right, so moving on along to this back section here. As you can see, you have a quick grab strap here. This kind of the similar kind of 511 kind of sticks out a little bit more. These are kind of the same yoke system style. I want to say back strap, back, back straps as it is. Um, but you got the typical webbing on here along with some other attachment points as well. Um, and of course the Vertex logo there. And these open up, I don't know what they're really meant for. You could put like a little, a little safety fly or something there, I don't know, but those open up to reveal something which I have no clue in what they're exactly used for. Looking at the farther back part of the pack here. Again, we have the big Vertex logo here. And now is where we get into this section of the pack here. Now, again, this is one with the big grab handle. I haven't taken it off yet, um, but it's meant for your firearm. So again, you slam it down and you get into this huge open area here, which opens all the way open as well, which is all part of their Tactigami system. So all your Velcro patches and Velcro items, anything you have that'll attach to that will stick to this surface here, as well as a panel. So this has like a plastic back in here, um, but you can get the panels, the bulletproof panels, like I think did the ballistics level three panels that go and fit this backpack exactly, if you want more of a bulletproof bag if that's what you're looking for. Now, this also features 
this through thing here, like this, so you can hold your bag like that, or really what it's meant to do is go onto your luggage. Or, I guess if you have that ballistic panel, obviously using it the other way, not with your arm facing out, like this, you can put your arm through there and use it sort of as a shield, I guess, if you had that ballistic panel in there. Don't know how well that would work, but hey, it's worth a try in a, any given situation. Um, so let's see what this backpack looks like on me real quick, and then I'll show you what it looks like to put the laptop in there. So, this is what the uh, backpack looks on me. Um, I think it's a good size backpack for my particular height and size. Um, again, I think it has, you know, nice straps, they're comfortable. Um, the backpack actually sits perfectly flat against my back, the whole entire back. Um, it's not too bad. Um, one thing that's worth noting, and somebody had mentioned it on the other videos, is I always forget about any sort of hip straps that are on here. This does have a hip attachment, or a, I should say, a waist attachment right here that comes across here. But if you notice, I took it off because it's the first thing I remove. Um, so just note, it does have more of a, a waist thing, but I'm not gonna be hiking anywhere in this, so I don't find it very useful. So I remove them. Sometimes I'll even cut them off of the bag if it has it and it's not removable or hideable. So again, this is the bag. Let me grab my laptop real quick and see if it fits inside of this inside pouch. All right, so inside of this bag does lie a laptop compartment right here. So let's see if the Alienware, which is again, a really big laptop fits inside of there. And look at that, it does just fine. Um, looking at the Velcro stickers here. We'd have to move those up a little bit if we wanted to see them and be picky about it. There we go. But it would fit just fine. So this again fits the Alienware. This is an Alienware 15 R2 if you want to look up dimensions for this particular laptop um, and see if your laptop will work. It fits perfectly inside of there. As well as, you know, one more place I want to try to put this laptop real quick. So if you put your laptop there, you're not gonna have much room for anything else. So one of the other things I tend to do is I'll put my laptop in this back part area where they say your tactigami stuff is supposed to go. So will my laptop fit back there? Most likely, yes. And look at that. Fits back there as well. So you can put your laptop in the back here and then put your iPad um, in the front here. So again, this is Fearless Leader B. This is the Vertex Gamut Backpack Review. I haven't used it too much yet, but so far it's been working just fine. Probably three or four days I've used it for so far. So I usually like to give myself a week, but I'm kind of convinced on this backpack and its abilities already. So if you liked the video, please make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you're not already doing so, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Again, Vertex Gamut, not the plus, just the gamut. I'll see you guys in the next